Hey guys and welcome back. To start off this look, I'm going to take care of my skin a little bit and I'm going to cleanse it with this Simple Care Micellar Water. Then onto moisturizing my face, I'm going to use this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel and this is for oily skin, along with spraying my face with this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and then using this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage and I noticed that this primer has a little bit of sparkles in it and I think it's supposed to illuminate your face so this is really good too. Then I'm going to shortly um, prep my eyebrows and I'm going for a less dramatic look with my brows because the eyeshadow is going to be so intense I don't want the eyebrows to be super bold and just overpowering. So I'm filling those in with an eyeshadow and then to create a sharp edge for my eyeshadow I am putting some tape on the outer corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to lay down a transition shade on my lids and this is from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and it's called Salted Caramel. And then to set a base for the eyeshadow, I'm using this eyeshadow pencil, this bright blue eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, it's an eyeliner. And I'm using this as a base and just going to blend that out with my fingers. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to use more of a greenish color. And by using these eye pencils, it's going to give my eyeshadow something to stick to and it's going to make the colors a lot more vibrant and intense. To give my crease some definition, I'm going to take this eyeshadow color and it's called Semi Sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and this is just going to define the crease a little bit better and I noticed that it made the eyeshadow base a little muddy but that's okay, we're going to be applying some eyeshadow right over top of that. So using this Go Palette by Coastal Scents, I'm taking this bright blue turquoise shade and I'm putting that all over the first half of my lid and then on the second half I'm going to apply the darker shade that was right next to that so you guys can see how I do this and I'm just going to pat it on my lids and once I pat it on then I'm going to use a swiping motion so here I'm just taking that dark darker color and putting that in the um, second half of my lid and this is just going to create this smooth transition between the lighter blue and the darker blue To get rid of any harsh lines that I may have created with that bright blue eyeshadow, I'm just going to go back into my crease and blend it out with this MAC 217 brush and this is just going to make sure the colors are all blended together seamlessly. So now at this point you can remove the tape because we're pretty much done with the eyeshadow on the lids. And then just to clean up that sharp line that the tape created, I'm going to blend it out a little better with the same eyeshadow brush that I used for that dark shadow. To create a little bit of definition on my lash line, I'm going to take this eyeliner by e.l.f. and it's just in black. And I'm just going to line my eyes with the very, very thin line. I don't want anything too harsh and too intense because this eyeshadow is already overpowering. And I'm not going to wing it out. I'm just going to create a simple thin line across my lid. And then moving on to foundation, which I'm actually going to skip through this entire process because you guys have seen this so many times. I'm just using the NARS um, All Day Minutes um, Foundation. So moving on to blush, I'm going to use this blush from the Forever 21 palette. And guys, look how creepy I look right there. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks and kind of drag it back towards the contour and make sure that everything is blended together. And I'm going for a more peachy blush because the complement of blue is orange. And I felt that using a peachy blush would be a nice complement to the blue eyeshadow that I had. 
So now we're going to focus on the lower lash line and I'm going to take that same green eyeliner pencil that we used as the base in the inner corner and I'm going to apply this under the eyes on the lower lash line and just smudge it out. And then I'm going to take that same dark blue eyeshadow that we use on the outer corners of our eyes and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lower lash line with this super skinny brush. So then I'm going to use the brighter blue shade and put that in the inner parts of my lower lash line and this is just going to reflect the eyeshadow that's on the lids. And now I'm going to hit my lashes up with a few coats of mascara because I'm going to be skipping the lashes for now. Because this eyeshadow is so vibrant and so intense, I felt that lashes weren't needed and that I wanted to rock my own personal lashes. For my lips, I'm going to line them with this lip liner by MAC and it's called Half Red and I'm just going to simply line my lips and then kind of fill them in just a little bit and then over top of that I'm going to use this Too Faced um, creamy type lipstick and I believe it's called Taffy. But then towards the end of the video, I didn't really like the way the lip color came out and I had to think twice about changing it and I actually ended up changing it to a more nudey type of lip color because this one was just a little too peachy and a little too orange for me and I didn't really like that so I ended up changing it towards the end of the video then for highlighter because I forgot to do that how could I forget to highlight so I'm going to use this highlighter from Forever 21 which is one of my favorites and I'm just going to dust that on the higher parts of my cheekbones just to give my face a nice glisten and then after all that, I'm going to set my face with the MAC Fix Plus, and we're done. And I'm just going to simply kind of slick my hair back a little bit and fix this wig girl because it's all over the place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and comment any videos that you want to see next. And I won't see you, but you will see me in my next video. So stay tuned. Bye, guys.